Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain about special functions. Under special functions, we will have beta and gamma functions. Now first, what is mean by beta function? What is the definition of beta function? And the properties are formulas of a beta function followed by gamma function. The properties of gamma function we will go through and then based on the beta function and gamma function problems we will do. Now beta function, first definition is beta function. These two are the beta function and gamma function. These two are the special functions, beta function. What is a beta function? It is a definite integral. A beta function is a definite integral in the form of integral 0 to 1 x to the power of m minus 1 into 1 minus x to the power of n minus 1 dx where m comma n greater than 0 is known as beta function and is denoted by beta of m comma n and is defined as beta of mn is equal to integral 0 to 1 x to the power of m minus 1 into 1 minus x to the power of n minus 1 dx m comma n greater than 0. This is the definition of a beta function. Now, where a number of times we need to use this formula by heart this formula like anything. Whenever beta function means you have to write beta of m and it is a definite integral. I think everybody know about a definite integral. Integral with limits is called definite integral. Beta of mn is equal to integral 0 to 1 x to the power of m minus 1 into 1 minus x to the power of n minus 1 dx. Number of times to do so many problems and properties we need to use this formula by heart this formula. Beta of mn is equal to integral 0 to 1 x to the power of m minus 1 into 1 minus x to the power of n minus 1 dx. This is the definition of a beta function. Next uh, we have properties of a beta function. These properties are nothing but like formulas. This is one formula, this is one formula, this is one formula. While doing the problems whenever it is useful we have to apply the suitable formula. The formulas are properties of beta function. The first one is beta of mn is equal to beta of nm. mn is equal beta of mn is equal to beta of m nm. And the second one is beta of mn is equal to integral 0 to infinity x to the power of n minus 1 into n, x to the power of n minus 1 by 1 plus x to the power of m plus n dx is equal to x to the power of m minus 1 by 1 plus x to the power of m plus n dx. This is one second property. And the third property beta of mn offer all these properties we have proof proof is also there we have to prove all the properties like formulas you have to remember and by heart as well as we have to prove all the formulas the third one is beta of mn is equal to 2 integral 0 to pi by 2 sin theta to the power of 2m minus 1 into cos theta to the power of 2n minus 1 d theta. These three are the formulas while doing the problems or properties. We need to use these formulas, formulas in the problems. This also you have to learn the beta gamma function definition. Now we will prove the first property. What is the first property? Beta of prove that beta of mn is equal to beta of nm. To prove this one, the first one prove that beta of m comma n is equal to beta of n comma m to prove this one we have to to prove this one by the definition of beta function by definition of a beta function what is the definition of beta function beta of m comma n number of times we need to use i told you already beta of mn is equal to integral 0 to 1 x to the power of m minus 1 into 1 minus x to the power of n minus 1 dx this is the definition of beta function using this definition what we are going to do i will tell you by the definition of beta function we wrote the definition and we know that from intermediate we know one formula we know that the formula is uh, we know that integral 0 to a f of x dx is equal to integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx this is formula what is this formula 
intermediate formula we know that integral 0 to a we know the definition the beta gamma function definition is we wrote the definition and we know one more formula integral 0 to a f of x dx is equal to integral 0 to a f of a minus x and dx this this is formula this formula we are going to apply there therefore if therefore beta of m comma n is equal to integral 0 to 1 now using the above formula to this one integral 0 to a f of x dx is equal to integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx now here if you observe integral 0 to 1 our limits are 0 to 1 f of x dx is equal to we can write a minus x means 1 minus x wherever wherever x is there in place of x a minus x here a is a in the formula a here our limit is 1 that's why 1 minus x to the power of m minus 1 into 1 minus of 1 minus x now wherever see wherever x is there we can write a minus x wherever x is there a minus x because limits are 0 to a that's why a minus x here 0 to 1 limits is 0 to 1 that's why wherever x is there in place of x I am writing 1 minus x 1 minus x to the power of m minus and in place of x I am writing 1 minus x in place of x 1 minus x to the power of n minus 1 dx that is equal to integral 0 to 1 1 minus uh, plus x minus x get cancelled how much you'll get x to the power of n minus 1 into 1 minus x to the power of m minus 1 dx this is nothing but just uh, this is the formula the to this formula this is quite opposite in place of m n is there in place of n m is there that's why in place of m see wherever in place of m n is there in place of n m is there that's why beta of n comma m see once again i will tell you wherever x is there in place of x 1 minus x now limit is 0 to a here limit is 0 to 1 in place of x a minus x is there in place of x 1 minus x we are writing 1 minus x in place of x 1 minus x in place of m n is there in place of n m is there that's why beta of m n therefore beta of m comma n is equal to beta of n comma m second one the second one is prove that second one is prove that beta of mn is equal to integral 0 to infinity x to the power of n minus 1 by 1 plus x to the power of m plus n dx is equal to this one to prove this one we have to assume we have to put x is equal to 1 plus y x is equal to 1 plus y differentiating with respect to y dx by dy is equal to minus 1 by 1 plus y whole square 1 by y differentiation is minus 1 by y square like that 1 by y this is in the form of 1 by y 1 by y differentiation is minus 1 by y square 1 plus y whole square dx by dy implies therefore dx is equal to minus 1 by 1 plus y whole square dy dx value we wrote like this and in next we will find the limits see we are substituting in place of x that means i am converting this is in terms of x these limits are completely in terms of x i am converting this limit in terms of y wherever x is there i will write 1 plus y so that dx is equal to i will write this one wherever dx is equal to is there i will write this one so that the x limits are there like this i have to change the x limits into y limits now how to change the limits i will tell you now to change the limits 1 plus y is equal to because x is equal to x is equal to 1 plus y we took just uh, let us assume that uh, let us assume that x is equal to 1 plus y therefore 1 plus y is equal to 1 by x we can write uh, 1 by x now when x is equal to 0 whenever x is equal to 0 if you put you will get y tends to infinity y is equal to infinity if you put x is equal to 0 here 1 by 0 becomes infinity infinity minus 1 is also infinity only y tends to infinity now when x is equal to 1 
if you put x is equal to 1, 1 by 1 is 1 only, 1, if you send outside y is equal to 1 minus 1 is 0, y tends to 0. When x is equal to 0, if you put x is equal to 0 here, y becomes infinity. If you put x is equal to 1 here, therefore y is equal to 1 minus 1 is 0. Y limits we have got. Therefore, beta of m comma n is equal to in this wherever in the given in the given interval i will substitute x value dx value as well as limits now i will substitute beta of mn is equal to integral infinity to infinity to 0 we have got 1 by 1 plus y to the power of m minus 1 into 1 minus 1 plus y to the power of n minus 1 into dx is minus 1 by 1 plus y whole square dy. I substituted wherever x is there. x In place of x, I substituted 1 plus y to the power of m minus 1. And in the same way, we substituted everything. 1 minus x. That is equal to integral 0 to infinity 1 by 1 plus y to the power of m minus 1. Now here LCM is 1 plus y. 1 plus y minus 1 to the power of n minus 1. Plus 1 minus 1 get cancelled. Minus 1 if you remove the minus 1 in the next step I will remove dy by 1 plus y whole square. Now if you remove this minus, if you remove this minus, that's why we, re we removed already removed the minus infinity to 0 becomes 0 to infinity. Here minus is there from this step to this step infinity to 0 becomes 0 to infinity. That's why minus becomes plus here. Now 0 to infinity 1 plus y to the power of m minus 1 plus y minus y get cancelled y to the power of n minus 1 by 1 plus y to the power of n minus 1. Now dy by 1 plus y whole square. We remove this negative becomes infinity 0 becomes 0 to infinity. Now that is equal to integral 0 to infinity y to the power of n minus 1 by 1 plus y 1 plus y 1 plus y. Bases are equal power should be added. 1 plus y to the power of m minus 1 plus n minus 1 plus 2 dy m plus n plus minus 1 plus 2 minus 2 get cancelled. That is equal to integral 0 to infinity y to the power of n minus 1 by y to the power of n minus 1 by 1 plus y to the power of m plus n dy. Now we know one formula again intermediate formula we know that integral a to b f of x dx is equal to integral a to b f of y dy this is formula integral a to b f of x dx is equal to integral a to b f of y dy is equal to in terms of y also we can write in terms of x also therefore we can write this one in terms of x using this formula in terms of x we can write in terms of y integral 0 to infinity x to the power of n minus 1 by 1 plus x to the power of m plus n dx. Now, this one in, ter in terms of y, we can write as in terms of x. But we know that first formula, first one we derived. We derived the first one as we know that what we know, the first proof is we know that beta of m comma n is equal to beta of n comma m. We know that beta of m just now we proved beta of m comma n is equal to beta of n comma m. Therefore, beta of m comma n is equal to now here wherever n is there in place of n m wherever m is there in place of m n minus 1. Beta of m n is equal to beta of n m that's why integral 0 to infinity in place of n I will write m minus 1 by 1 plus x to the power of m plus n dx. This is the second one. Now third one. Prove that. 
prove that beta of mn is equal to 2 integral 0 to pi by 2 sin theta to the power of 2m minus 1 into cos theta to the power of 2n minus 1 d theta. To prove this one, first we know the formula beta gamma function form beta function beta of mn is equal to integral 0 to 1 x to the power of m minus 1 into 1 minus x to the power of n minus 1 dx. Now here we will use the substitutions. Now put x is equal to sin theta put x is equal to sin square theta. Now dx by theta differentiating with respect to theta differentiating with respect to theta dx by d theta is equal to 2 sin theta cos theta implies dx is equal to 2 sin theta cos theta d theta dx is equal to that means uh, wherever in this uh, uh, formula wherever x is there sin square theta wherever dx is there 2 sin theta cos theta d theta I will write as well as x limits 0 and 1 are there I will change the limits also when x is equal to 0 when lower limit x is equal to 0 implies if you substitute x is equal to 0 sin theta is sin square theta is equal to 0 theta is equal to 0 when x is equal to 1 if you substitute x is equal to 1 here 1 is equal to sin square theta sin theta value in terms of uh, uh, sin theta value in terms of uh, uh, the one is 90 implies theta is equal to 90 pi by 2 now we will substitute all these values in this formula that means I am going to convert this x in terms of x integral I am converting in terms of theta substituting all the values in this formula now how much you will get therefore beta of m comma n is equal to limits are 0 to pi by 2 0 to pi by 2 sin x what is x x is equal to x values sin square theta sin square theta to the power of m minus 1 into 1 minus sin square theta to the power of n minus 1 now dt, dx is 2 sin theta cos theta d theta that is equal to integral now 2 is there this 2 I will write outside 2 integral 0 to pi by 2 sin square sin theta to the power of 2m minus 2 1 minus sin square theta is cos square theta now cos square 2n minus 2 into 2 I wrote already outside sin theta cos theta d theta now sin theta means whole square whole square means 2m minus 2 now here 2m minus 2 bases are equal power should be added sin theta sin theta 2m minus 2 minus 1 you will get that is equal to 2 integral 0 to pi by 2 sin theta to the power of 2m minus 1 because here sin theta bases are equal power should be added cos theta 2n minus 2 is there here cos theta is there 2n minus 1 d theta before this beta of m comma n is equal to is there this one only we have to prove thank you very much